What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you can get the information you need in the first 60 seconds. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you how easy it is to get the biggest, baddest site logo you could ever imagine and have it be the correct dimensions. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Let's get that party started. You're going to go to the gear icon. From the gear icon, you're going to go ahead and change the look. And from there, you're going to go to the header. And from the header, you're going to go down the site logo. And you're going to change that bad boy. And you're going to find like the biggest, baddest image that you could find. And you're going to pop it in there. And you're going to save it. And then you just did it. Bam. All right. Now let's stick around. And we're going to show you how I use Canva to actually go with the largest recommended pixels for this particular logo. All right, now before you do that, please click like, subscribe, share. It's how we grow, we appreciate you. Let's get on with it. All right, so first off, this is a standard. This is standard, we're not talking minimized, we're not talking extended, standard. You get the logo here and you get two lines, one, two. There's more info, maybe we'll do another video on the other layouts. Okay, so you wanna get this all fixed up. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to right size the image 194 192 by 64 that is the recommended size for this standard site logo so how do you make that happen maybe your image isn't exactly that size or it's bigger or smaller whatever and you want to fit it in that recommended 192 by 64 so here's what you do you pull up canva free app this is not an advertisement for canva but it's free and it works and it's awesome. All right, so you're gonna go and you're gonna create a custom canvas, all right? Canva, Canva, see how they did that? And you're gonna go custom and we know it's 192 by 64 is the recommended resolution, okay? So we create that design and it's gonna give us a canvas of that size. Then we can just grab whatever we wanna grab and smack it in here and make sure, well, it just auto fit, right? But you know, maybe your image is, oh, there's a whole lot going on there. Let's let's undo this. I want to keep it simple. Let's just let's just keep it simple. Here we go. Maybe you need this awesome photo to be like, you know, as big and make it max, right? So you want to keep the same dimensions. So we go we do this and then we center it. I mean, you all know how to do this. And if you want to get really nutty, you can just go ahead and say, let's slap a background on there. Okay, and then we're gonna download that bad boy. All right, and we're gonna put it somewhere. I mean, basically that's it. That's what I did with this. Once I size it up right to where it fit within that particular canvas and I knew I had the correct dimension. So save that file. And then when I go in, I go to the gear icon settings and we go into the change the look. And then we take a peek again at the header and we say, let's go ahead and get a snazzy new site logo. Boom. And now, it is done so hopefully this helps you if you want to update your site logo there's a whole lot more to it than just that but that's just the you know standard getting the largest image recommended into the standard site logo thank you so much for watching remember do the best you can with what you got sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time y'all i'm a sharepoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because i gotta use them forward yeah i'm a big old nerd i like maple syrup all my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.